with Charlotte Fabrication Tough Close, Alabama. Got a video by myself today right here. This is a cooker we just finished for Jeff Neth. Uh, this is a 24 by, I think, 65, I think, with traditional doors. We'll have a couple of burners right here. They're not on yet, but they will be. And uh, propane tank holder. You got a shelf right here. Grease drain handle there. Got two probe inserts to your left there. Three tail throughs. We have a insulated firebox right here. Custom wheels. Uh, these firebox doors now are gonna be uninsulated. They're gonna be three quarters inch thick. I've talked with some guys. We had some problem with a couple of doors bowing. We ain't gonna get into all that. It's got to do with an insulated door. So we're gonna do a three quarter inch thick door, which is gonna be just as efficient as an insulated door, and it's gonna last a lifetime of that cooker. So that's what we, we're gonna go ahead and do. So far, every customer I've talked to is totally cool with that. I've talked with some engineers about it, and uh, they're good. They seem to think that's, that's, that's cool, that'll work, that's good, because all your heat's going into the cooker, but a uh, three-quarter inch door is going to last the life, the, the, it's going to last at the end of time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the three-quarter inch thick door. But uh, this cooker here has, has both damper systems, three shelf warmer, uh, two, like I said, two burners up front, traditional cook chamber doors. This cooker here right here is going to be for you, Vance Perkins, if you're out there. I've got to get back on it. Uh, it'll be done next week. It's a straight back cooker, 24 by 65. It'll have two burners up front here, propane tank holder. See that flat roof back there? Paul Boo Boo. It's supposed to be a hip roof, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dissect that thing here in the next day or two. Put the hip roof, hip roof on it. Vance would have He'd, he'd have took it, I'm sure, but that's not what he wanted. And uh, man, when you're buying something, you know, get what you want. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that. And that was oversight on my part. That's one thing you run into when you do a lot of cookers and you you allow people to change and all that. And that's totally cool. It's nobody's fault but my own. And I'm gonna handle it. I'm gonna fix it. And uh, got a custom cart right here. Got a custom cart right here that'll be a uh, cooker will be going on. It'll be a 24 by 50. For a guy in Alabama, if you're out there, I can't remember your name, man. Oh, sorry, but it'll be ready. Man, I'm going to try to get it by the fourth for you, brother. Right in here, Tony Tony Myers. Your cooker here is coming in to fruition. It's uh, right here. That is just a cart we build cookers on. We don't. That's 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 just a cart we build stuff on to take it off. Tony, that's your cooker. Here's your cabinet that will go on your insulated firebox. Tony uh, is going to have a 24 by 65, 60, 65, couple of burners. And we've got a couple of cookers uh, that are at the refinery getting blasted. And guys, I'm sorry, man, I can't remember the names. One of them is coming to first. Uh, I had to go and look at my paperwork. Lord help me, I can't believe. And uh, Mr. Dave Kuis, yours, if I'm pronouncing that right, yours at the refinery getting blasted today. So it'll be ready for pickup on Saturday. Again, this is a 24 by 65 traditional doors. Uh, Vance has got a 24 by 65 with a square back on it. Uh, cabinet doors. Uh, this is a custom cart right here. Going back looking, that cooker there will have the hip roof. Daddy boo booed. He didn't look at the paperwork error. It was actually in a text, and uh, I missed it. So we're gonna we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. But again, uh, this is Paul with Shirley Fabrication, South Coast, Alabama. We're booking into January 2016. We'll no longer take any more cooker builds this year. Can't do it. We have too many to build. We're fixing Lou Ross, which is Tyler's younger brother. And oh my Lord, I'm telling y'all guys, I'm going to throw some kudos to Ross. He is a fabricating welding fool. He is off, off the chain. To be a senior, going in his senior in high school, I put him with guys I've been doing it for years. Ross is good. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a good worker. He uh, he's just a good fitter. He can do he can do it all. Ross built this cart right here. He built that cart. He built that trailer for that cooker right there. He built this trailer for that cooker right there. He would be building that trailer for this cooker in here. So Ross is he's a fabricating machine. I guarantee it. If I had two Rosses and one Tyler, wouldn't need nobody else. That'd be it. Cody does good. I'm going to throw kudos to Cody for his painting and stuff now. 
I'm not going to say that, but I'm talking about as far as fabricating, them two men will put out the work of four or five men all day long. Tyler and Ross are bad to the bone, I'm telling you. But again, I'm going to post this video. Ain't nobody here to help me, so I'm going to do it on my own. We out of here today. Goodbye.